Tonight, our Call 6 investigators have an exclusive look at a first-of-its-kind warning system designed to protect your child from bullies and bullets. The new high-tech program promises to help school administrators pinpoint threats in real time by scanning your child's Facebook page. Call 6 investigator Rafael Sanchez joins us and is the first to detail the system developed in Indiana. Rafael. Jenna and Todd, good evening. About one million Hoosier children attend school, and as you know, most are computer savvy. And for many, Facebook is the 21st century playground where at times kids threaten to hurt or even kill others. Tonight, the words that will trigger warnings to prevent tr trouble or tragedy in the schoolhouse. I honestly don't know if they're trying to kill me or what. Day and night. And we were terrorized, yes. They feared for their lives. I was fed up. Heather Campbell wants to shed light on the death threats on Facebook against her son Patrick and the related acts of violence outside their home. They were shooting at our house. They were, well, they threw a brick through our window in the middle of the night. And blood was all over me. But this, this way. Mm -hmm. to right here. I took brass knuckles and was beating on our garage. So I was in fear for my kids' safety. The teens behind the attacks often bragged on social media about the incidents. Pictures of guns saying that they're going to take care of the job tonight and saying that they just wanted uh, to kill me. Patrick, a high school senior, doesn't know why he was a target of the cyberbullying, but it ended last year when prosecutors filed criminal charges. School authorities were unaware of the problem until his mom brought it to their attention. If the schools could get a hold on it, you know, when it first happens, things like this wouldn't escalate. Over the past two years, Facebook has been a place kids have detailed violent intentions, often discovered by authorities after classmates are injured or killed. In February 2012, near Cleveland, Ohio, TJ Lane shot three high school students. Lane posted his plans on Facebook 30 days before. In August 2011, Tampa police prevented a high school attack based on information on the suspect's Facebook postings. And in February 2011, in Martinsville, Indiana, Michael Phelps shot a classmate. He talked about his plans days earlier on Facebook. So the days of schools being in the dark on such things are coming to an end. This is a breakthrough tool for school security. Bruce Canal is the driving force behind the company known as Social Net Watcher. The retired state police trooper with 30 years experience spent the past two years working on a software program that will alert schools about online threats. This is going to help predict uh, that troubled student who is either being uh, berated or beaten up and needs help or a student who's becoming to the point where he's going to act out in a criminal manner or a suicidal manner. Schools that sign up must get permission from the student and their guardian. That means that Social Net Watcher can monitor everything on your Facebook wall 24-7. That includes messages from people who are your friends. The service does not scan pictures or focus on messages related to sex, drugs, or alcohol. But type that someone will die tomorrow and the school gets a red violence alert. Mention that you can't take the tormenting anymore and a yellow suicide alert is sent out. Suggest that someone kill themselves and a green bullying alert is issued. The text alerts provide school administrators with the name of the person receiving the message and all related postings. And that information gives educators the chance to determine whether the message is child's play or requires the attention of a counselor or a police officer. I would like to know it in advance um, because I want to be proactive. School police officer John Akers patrols his building and teaches a class. But right now, he has no access to the messages being exchanged among his students. Pursuit for the ultimate drive starts here. It's been a long road for Patrick and his family. While the bullying is in the rearview mirror, his parents still have several surveillance cameras at work outside their home and are mindful of the online friends and foes. Social net watchers operating in three Indiana schools right now and one in Tennessee. That includes nearly six thousand students. The goal is 25 school systems by year's end and because as you know teens are smart the company says it is continually updating its database to include words, phrases and text combinations to pinpoint language that could lead to a bullying, violence or suicide alert. So this system is already up and running. 
Seems like a really good system. But what about privacy, though? If uh, a friend of someone who signs up, are they alerted that their messages are being monitored? Uh, there is no disclosure, no warnings to those that may post something on your wall. As far as privacy, only school administrators get all the information, so no one else. Parents don't get it, school police don't get it, only the principal or the vice principal. This really all could right. be amazing, though. Rafael. We're going to keep an eye on this one. All right, Rafael, thank you.